Well guys, uh, we're back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take care of a uh, 99 Ford F-150. Uh, this truck's been warming up a bit. Uh, it's been warming up enough to where the transmission oil gets hot and uh, transmission is uh, leaking it out the vent tube off the top. So on this one, uh, we went ahead and got a radiator, water pump, and thermostat. And we're gonna go ahead and replace all those, all, all those three things, in, oh, including the upper radiator hose. So uh, let me show you real quick. Well guys, uh, this is the little truck in question, well, I mean, that's a truck in question, and uh, well, we're going to be removing this radiator, hose is gone, it's all mushy, I already started uh, draining the fluid out of it, got a 4.6, and right now we're going to go ahead and remove that shroud, it's got two 10 millimeter bolts, very hard to show you guys, let me yank this hose off, there you go. It's got a 10 millimeter bolt here. It's got another one on the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and push this back. Pull this 10 millimeter bolt off here and on that side, remove the two transmission lines and yank this radiator out of the way and that fan shroud so you can go ahead and get that fan clutch and water pump off out of the way. So let me go ahead and get those off. I'm also going to remove that air cleaner housing or air filter and the tube get it out of the way so it'll give us you know a little bit clearer picture or more working space so let me get those off too Well guys, uh, next thing we got to remove is transmission line here, transmission line on the bottom, and I already removed the radiator hose off of the bottom, so let me get these two transmission lines off. Well guys, on this one, it's just, on this one guys, it's transmission line, just loosen it, and just undo it. There's one, and I'm not gonna be able to record the bottom one. It's in a very tight spot, so let me go ahead and get that one off real quick. Now that we got both transmission lines, let me go ahead and pull that radiator out. I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod real quick, and I'm just gonna basically just pull it up, straight up, and out. Give me one second. I was struggling a bit, get that little petcock valve was getting stuck on the fan shroud and the lower radiator hose connect, uh, connect on the radiator was getting stuck on the fan shroud. So just watch out for those. Now that we got the radiator out, it's a lot easier to get this fan shroud out. And uh, well, let me get that real quick. Okay, now that we got the radiator and the shroud out, fans exposed you can get to that fan nut a lot easier I do have the wrench for that uh, let me grab it real quick we use that set it on the fan I don't have the holder so I'm just gonna tap it lightly with a little uh, sledgehammer and it'll loosen that fan let me go ahead and get let me go ahead and get it off Now that we got that fan shroud out of the uh, fan fan out of the way, now you can actually see the water pump. Basically, just those four little screws. Take the belt off, get that hub out. Water pump right, comes right off, and thermostat housing is going to be up here. I'll show you in a bit, but for now, let's go ahead and get that little pulley off. And on that one, it's just a 10 millimeter little socket. I'm going to use what I have with me. I don't want to go grab tools, so I'm going to use a one I used on the 
radiator and shroud and okay on that one since it's a little tight just use any wrench lock it up and it'll let you loosen the bolts I was hoping the belt would do it but in this case the belt didn't want to guys there we go lock it up with a wrench again and loosen them up once you got all four loose I can go ahead and remove them when I remove that belt so half inch drive ratchet on your tensioner relieve some of that tension off of the belt pull the belt out the pulley and there you go I'll leave the ratchet there Pulleys off and water pump is fully exposed now. Hmm? On that one there guys, you got one, two, three, and one down here. You got four bolts holding it in place. And these are oh, sorry. 13 millimeter. Let me see if I can get it with this little quarter inch ratchet. Yep. Let me get an extension on this. And these will pop right out guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little time lapse on the rest on the bolts so i don't make this video too too long and on this one guys i mean the impeller seems to be in place bearing's got a whole bunch of play on it and it's well i mean these guys have been using water instead of uh, coolant. Get all that rust coming from the engine. All this junk goes over to your radiator, starts clogging up, cl clogging up those pores, and you start getting less and less and less, or vehicle starts to run a little bit higher in temperature because it holds less water. Radiator has some of those uh, little uh, lines clogged up, so they're not helping cool the, cool the water down, the coolant down or nothing like that. So your cars start running a little hotter, a little bit at a time, because of, yeah, they're using water instead of coolant. Well guys, here we have a little uh, thermostat with a little O-ring gasket. I believe this is a, I think they're 180 or, it's either 180 or 195, I'm not sure, I can't see the numbers on this one. And uh, here's our new little water pump. All right. Remember this little freeze plug right here goes towards the bottom. So let's go ahead and get this one set up and bolt it back up. 
I'm going to take a uh, emery cloth and clean out the area where the pump actually sits and where the seal actually mates with the block. So let me go ahead and get that done. Now that we got this little mating surface clean, let's wipe it down real quick. Now that we got that, we can go ahead and get our pump. Kind of snug it in a bit. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Get our bolt and Here we got our four, four bolts back in place. All I gotta do is get our ratchet and uh, kind of just, you don't tighten one side, you just kind of go on all four, make sure the pump goes in straight. You don't want to bind it. Uh, let me show you. Now that we got the pump all the way in, get these tight. And we got a water pump installed. We're not done yet, but the hardest part is already done. All we gotta do now is get our thermostat, get our belt back on, get our pulley back on, and then reinstall our radiator. So let me go ahead and get all this junk done in time lapse real quick, guys. Well guys, water pump is on, belt is on. I tightened those little bolts on that little hub. Let me go ahead and uh, get that thermostat. Let me see if I can get you a better view. Thermostat housing is right here. Let me go ahead and get that hose out of the way. Uh, we're gonna replace this hose, so. And these, this thing has been in on there for a while, so it's gonna be stuck to the thermostat housing but let's see how bad it is there you go hose is off and on this one yep we got tens a little extension real quick And let me see if I can get them with a little quarter inch ratchet. Yeah. It's got two bolts holding it down, guys.
See that? Now that's not normal. Uh, I can't tell what it is at the moment. I don't know if it's just a whole bunch of crud in there, silicone or what. But let me go ahead and remove that thing and we'll inspect it closer. Uh. Well guys. Silicone. That's another thing you don't want to really do. All this junk goes to your radiator, gets clogged up in those little uh, pores, and your radiator is going to not perform the way it's supposed to. I mean, you're closing off cells, less water gets cooled, less, cool, less coolant gets cooled down, so overheating starts to happen. I'm going to take that radiator apart, guys, and I'm going to show you what those uh, co uh, radiator core looks like on the inside. But, well, we're replacing this one. Well, guys, uh, there we got our thermostat housing back in place. Got our water pump back in place. So, all we got to do now is... Stuff that fan in there, get that shroud in there, and get that radiator back in there, and we should be done with this one. So uh, let me go ahead and get the rest of the stuff. Oh, sorry about that one, guys. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my camera positioned. But I also almost forgot to show you guys, well, the fan. I mean, it's, it's no rocket science or nothing, but I mean, uh, the fan, give me one second. Okay, the fan there, uh, when you remove it, it's a counterclockwise. Basically, tap it counterclockwise and it'll loosen it. Once it loosens, you can just spin it off. Once you get it back on, it's clockwise. And I just put it on there, set up the wrench, a few little taps. That's tight enough. One thing I want to show you guys is, I don't know if you can tell, but this radiator is almost two inches wide. And uh, the one they had on there before is half of the width. So uh, th this radiator should help this truck a lot more than what the old one was doing because of the how much fluid it actually holds. All I gotta do now is they give you these little uh, uh, blind nuts that you have to install in the radiator to be able to bolt up this little uh, fan guard onto. So let me go ahead and get those on and finish this one up. Well guys, now what we got to do is basically get these lines back onto this little connector on the radiator. Those are your transmission cooler lines. So we got to get these back on there, tighten them up, and uh, well, we'll go ahead and continue. Let me go ahead and get those and we'll continue. Well guys, uh, there's a radiator, it's already installed, everything's tightened, I got everything back on, make sure all, made, made, made sure that all the connectors are back con uh, connected back in their proper place, 
got the little air hoses connected to that freaking bellow uh, made sure everything was back on so all I gotta do now is uh, add coolant add water check for leaks well guys what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up this radiator I mean it's no good I mean cover was cracked but I'm curious to know how the inside of this radiator was So let me go ahead and pry this sucker open and let's look at the inside. Well guys, this here is your transmission cooler and I don't know what these are and clogged. It's not that, it doesn't look that that bad, but I don't know what these are for. Let's go ahead and get the other side. Look at that guys, gasket, whole bunch of rust particles, crab, junk, huh? Now this thing was running hot, I don't care if you filled it up with coolant, this thing was still going to run hot, I mean there's no circulation, this thing wasn't, I mean not even, ah, probably working at a 50% dude, so. It's a good thing we flushed this unit out before we actually took it apart. I mean, we don't need, we didn't purchase any kind of flushes or nothing. We just used regular tap water, but we did pull a whole bunch of junk out of it, similar to this. And uh, well, I mean, I don't know what this gasket is for or from, but it was there. But yeah, guys, this is what happens when uh, you run your vehicles with just water instead of the 50-50 coolant 50% coolant 50% water I just want to show you guys this and uh, that way now we know why we replaced that radiator we kind of had to so well guys, well guys uh, I'm going to call this one done uh, appreciate you guys watching hey, like and comment